get out your niggas, so drop it. I can't stop it, ain't no stopping it. That fucking ball keep fucking with my mind and shit. I want it, you got it. Let me get that out your nigga, so drop it. I can't stop it, ain't no stopping it. That fucking ball keep fucking with my mind and shit. Dig deep in Y'all tuned in to the real deal with Cali Yo Chill. Press the subscribe button. Press like if you like. Press dislike if you don't. But these are all facts. I'm going to talk about when Soldier Slim had his beef with the Calio. Every year, every year during the school time, we used to have DJs in the cafeteria for the whole lunch period. You got Slim rocking the mic at that time. You got Yellow Boy rocking the mic at time. You got Uncle Larell. Shout out Uncle Larell, man. Yeah, so at this time, school jumping. Booker T high. We in that thing. They got all the females popping. When I mean popping, that mean booty shaking. We in that thing. Slim got that thing popping. Slim saying, Biggity got to be real. Slim out the Mac. Know you where they at? Where they at? Tell them hoes, get the gap. Yeah, that was like a little hit song down here in New Orleans, you heard me? So boom. So after the after one of the DJs in the cafeteria that time, Slim got into one of my little homies out the yoke. Yup, rest in peace, little livers, man. Yeah, little livers, he was active. Active. He was a little bit of nigga, and he was active though. Him and Slim had a fight for some reason, man. So we broke that shit up and whatnot. So I'm like, come on, come on, Slim, man. That's the little homie. So I'm like, man, that little nigga be wild and bucking and shit like that. You heard me? So I'm like, man, it ain't nothing, man. Let that go. Right after that, not too long after that, shots was fired. Livers get hit in the leg at this time. So nigga trying to figure out, man, what the fuck going on? Livers, you know, he ain't got no beef or nothing like that. But yeah, come to find out, soldier them had sent the shots. Now the beef on with Soldier and one of the little homies out the yo, man. Crazy. And man, crazy that because little Livers, his uncle killed my brother. Yup, his uncle killed my brother. He wound up catching a life sentence behind that. But me and the Livers, we never had no, no, no friction behind it because it was an unfortunate situation. But right before my mind passed, man, rest in peace, Barbara Shelley. Right before my mama passed, um, his uncle went up for parole. So you know they called, you know they had to call the family, to, you know, to verify, you know, how, how y'all how, how y'all feel about him coming home. And my mama forgave him. Yep, and he wind up coming home, man. Shout out to Liva's uncle, man. Yep, he wind up coming home. My mama gave him the blessings and whatnot. That's the kind of family you know I come from. That's my core. So um. Now Livers had then got shot. So fi shots fired. So at nine, it's really on. But it was just with them two or whatever. Whatever they had going on is whatever. So Slim used to be on the parkway before, you know, that Magnolia Slim. He used to be hanging on the parkway by Craig, who's the, the producer. So now one of Livers little partners wind up getting shot up or whatever. So now, it's, you know, it's like, Siri, like, damn, man, they playing with lifers like that? So um, i never forget, lifers had a, um, a S10 little truck he used to be riding around in, laying low, little bitty dude, man, laying low in that thing, you heard me? So one particular day, he caught Slim. Yeah, he caught Slim. He Slim up. He stood over Slim, about to knock Slim head off, man. But Slim was with his mama at that time. And, and, you know, by God's grace, you know, he, his life got spared that time. Because um, his mama was like, no, don't kill my baby. Don't kill my baby, which took life's attention and, you know, got him up off him. So now it's really on Slim got here. Slim popular at this time. So there's a lot of wild shit going on back and forth, man, with that death. You know what I'm saying? We couldn't even get in between that because, you know, spilled blood don't dry sometimes in certain situations. 
So Slim had been in the street with that wild shit. Like everything he was rapping about was his lifestyle. It wasn't nothing he was making up or nothing. And um, and at that time, you up the wall on between them two and his little crew or whatever. Yep. After that, little life has got killed. Yep. Allegedly, supposed to have been a can from Slim them camp, but I don't know. I don't know if that's the truth or not. But life has wind up getting killed, and that shit had hit hard. You know. And um, yeah, the yo was pressing on Slim. Yeah, the Cali was pressing on Slim. But that was that little generation. But like me and you know my homies and shit, we was always cool with Slim. You know, we ain't get into that thing now. You heard me? Yeah, all facts, man. Y'all tune in. We still got a lot of stories to tell. You know, like I said, it's not to glorify the, the stories. It's not to open no old wounds or try to, you know, hurt nobody's feelings. Just showing the breeding ground, how the city was breeding killers instead of making geniuses, instead of making, you know, doctors, lawyers. Yeah, that was created. Them paradigms created for us to go against each other. Yeah, y'all hit the subscribe button. Press like if you like. Press dislike if you like. I'm out. Cali, you're in the building, man. CP3. <laughs>